They're always dressed to impress. MTV couldn't get enough of them. Remember TRL? Anywhere they went, paparazzi followed. This was a different time. Everyone wanted to know what they were going to wear. Buffy's white party loved up and everyone was like, OMG, they're so cute. <laughs> The infamous 1999 shooting outside of a New York City nightclub after an argument broke out that left three people injured. Lopez, Combs, and Combs' bodyguard, Anthony Jones, they, the discussion, as you can imagine, has moved on to celebrities, right? If the allegations are true, who knew what? Who is being interviewed by the feds? Could any of these high profile people face criminal charges of their own? Those are fair questions because after all, Combs is accused of controlling a criminal enterprise that was engaged in the abuse of women, sex trafficking, forced labor, prostitution, the distribution of drugs, an organization that committed crimes like kidnapping, arson, bribery, obstruction of justice to carry out their goals. So you have to imagine there were people who were part of this and witnessed this. In fact, the government said that they interviewed over 50 witnesses and victims. But there is one name on that celebrity list that is standing out in particular right now. Jennifer Lopez, J-Lo, why? Well, long before Combs was criminally charged, long before he was hit with multiple lawsuits accusing him of sexual assault, he dated the famous pop star and actress reportedly from 1999 to 2001. First public appearance was September 1999 at the MTV Music Awards and in the following year, when they were together was where she wore that infamous Versace green dress at the Grammys. The couple were on red carpets together. They went to Combs famous white party together. Big A-list couple. In fact, there is a photo of them together lying in a white bed with giant pillows. And in another photo, they're in a, that same bed with other people. And one clip that has actually surfaced recently is of the couple in the show MTV Diaries from 2000. And this is where Combs expressed his dissatisfaction with Lopez having to perform a kiss scene in one of her movies. And she confessed he has a problem with stuff like that. Couldn't get enough of them. Remember TRL? Anywhere they went, paparazzi followed. This was a different time. Everyone wanted to know what they were gonna wear. Buffy's white party loved up and everyone was like, OMG, they're so cute. Then December 1999, they go to a party in New York. There are pew pews involved. They both get arrested. Later, J-Lo was off the hook. I vividly remember people were like, goodness gracious, poor J-Lo. She's with a bad boy. They should break up. But they didn't. They went to the Grammys together. She wore this Versace gown. Everyone lost their minds. They coordinated wearing matching white outfits at the MTV Video Music Awards. Then it came all crashing down. Valentine's Day 2001, they announced they broke up. Seven months later, she married Chris Judd and then they divorced. Something else interesting happened. You fast forward to 2015, they'd already broken up. And this is when Jennifer Lopez appeared on the Wendy Williams show back in 2015. I was telling you that I could always see you getting back with Puffy in a little way. <laughs> I remember you said yes. that. Yes. Or in my mind. Look at that. Look at Or in my mind, getting together permanently yeah, well, first with Paul. Right, people. It's crazy. Everybody has like, everybody came alive. Everybody they all had something to say. Yeah, everybody has an opinion. Yes. It's funny to me. And then the cameras panned over to Lopez's mom, Guadalupe Lupe Rodriguez, who was in the audience, who has this kind of concerned look on her face. And she can't forget that Lopez and Combs' relationship was marked by one of the biggest controversies of his life. The infamous 1999 shooting outside of a New York City nightclub after an argument broke out that left three people injured. Lopez, Combs, and Combs' bodyguard, Anthony Jones, they were actually pursued by police after leaving the scene and were arrested. Stolen gun was found in the car. Lopez was detained for, I believe, 12 hours, but the charges were never pursued against her. Combs, though, Jones, and a man named Shine Barrow, who was a former bad boy rapper who was also there that night, they were arrested. They went on trial. Combs was accused of opening fire and then trying to bribe the driver of the car to take the fall for having the gun. Jones and Combs, they were acquitted of gun possession and bribery charges, but Barrow 
was convicted of assault and reckless endangerment for the shooting, and he was sentenced to 10 years in jail. In fact, Barrow has recently stated that Combs sent him to prison. Yeah, blamed him, said that he called witnesses to testify against him. And by the way, Lopez never showed up to the courthouse. She was- Though it was around, I used to always just uh, call her Miss Lopez. Um, he would do the flirtation and, and, and like have a lot of girls and girls around and then try to play her like that. But you know, she would check that. And uh, I put in my book one particular night where uh, she was in the stu we we was in the studio and a lot of girls was up there and J Lo got, you know, Miss Lopez got mad and she went home and she put on some jeans and sneakers and put her hair back into a little bun and a ponytail and she came back to the studio and Puff had a new song for her cause she was heated cause, and he got rid of all those girls that was in the studio. So he never tried to, you know, straight up, you know, talk to her crazy or anything around people, never. I never even heard him raise his voice. It's clear that Jennifer wanted to keep a certain image, especially when it came to her relationship with <laughs> about that is that Lopez and this shooting was referenced recently in one of the civil lawsuits that was filed against Sean Combs. This one is the sexual assault and sex trafficking lawsuit filed by Rodney Little Rod Jones. This is Combs' former producer. And Jones claimed that Combs showed off his guns to him at one point and bragged about shooting people and that he confessed he was in fact responsible for that 1999 shooting outside of the nightclub. And he claimed that Combs told him that Lopez carried the gun into the club for him and passed the gun to him when he got into that altercation and the shots were fired. Jones claims that Combs forced his then artist Shine to be the fall guy taking the blame for the shooting. And now all of that brings us to Lopez today. After these charges against Combs, what role could she play? To be clear, she's not listed. She's not mentioned in the indictment in any way or any of the government's letters from the prosecution to the judge where it was regarding bail, as bail has been denied twice, by the way. But there's been no reference actually in filings from the government about Look what happens when you don't want to be yourself. She can't sing, but they got her a microphone and let her pretend. So let me she ask. was an okay actress, but you know, she was good at acting. She'd been doing that all her life. J-Lo is just, I don't know. Every man she's been with has said the same thing, except for Diddy. Diddy's the only one that said she was a great girlfriend and how he wish he hadn't messed it up. Yeah. How is that the only man in her life that had regrets about their relationship but everybody else ran for the hills? <laughs> like, it's not nobody noticing that. That everybody else that's left her, oh, she was too this, she was this, she was that. But Diddy said she was perfect. <laughs> For what happens if you're only perfect for the devil? God, yeah, God, yeah. <laughs> what Damn. the fuck does that make you? Damn. Do you think, and I kind of laid out the history, what information could Jennifer Lopez provide to the government that would be useful in their case? Everything. Like, we know that Jayla was dating P. Diddy in the late 1990s to 2001, right? We know about the gun incident with the club. What I would want to know if I was a prosecutor sitting down with J-Lo is when did your relationship start? What did you observe? You were with him for 18 months. 
you shared a bed with him. You must have seen things. What did you see? And I would want to see if I could get information that would put his activities back to 1999 and then bring it forward, mm. which could make my case twice as strong as it currently is today. If you're prosecuting this case, do you want it to be a celebrity trial? Do you want all these big names to take the stand to explain what happened with Sean Combs? Is that advantageous to you? What I'd want is justice for the victims. Mm -hmm. What I'd want is to know that sex traffickers are caught and that sex workers have a safe. So what do you have to say about this comment down your thoughts right now? And make sure to give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel to stay updated in future. Until then, keep exploring.